All right, so today we're gonna to do another workflow video. Before we get started, just thought that I would mention if you're not hearing anything, that's because the PSAT's been taken out of here. Uh, as you see in one of my videos here, and we're using the new thermistor as well too. So super amazing setup, very, very happy with this LR24, super quiet, super amazing. Um, so yeah, we're gonna pull a shot of the Colombian. Uh, speaking of which, this is the new roast that I'm working on right now, some few friends. So uh, limited edition drop here, uh, double ferment at Columbia. So it's super limited edition, but if you're interested, let me know and I'll see what I can do to get you some. But right now we're not starting a coffee roasting company, but kind of starting one. So if you're interested, uh, let us know. We'll go from there. But right now I'm pulling 21 grams of that. Um, have it set right now for more of a shorter shot. So it's going to be 21 grams in, roughly 21 grams out. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and get started there. Go ahead and turn this on. it's so good that it's worth it um so we're gonna drop this down give it two taps i'm gonna go ahead and use the force tamp here force tamp it down and then we'll go ahead and grab a cup here i'm gonna go ahead and let it go into a just regular espresso cup for now and then i'll pour it into a larger cup because right now i feel like a flat white So right now we're doing six bars of pre-infusion. And then um, I'm gonna let that go for probably about 10, 15 seconds. So first drops, which you'll see here in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and lift the lever up here. And then we're gonna let this go ahead and run. So as I said, um, it's a little late in the day, so I thought Flat white would be nice. It's a little colder here in San Diego. So gonna go ahead and let's go to about 2021 or if I see any blonding before then. Go ahead and take it off. All right, so I'm gonna take it off right now. So here it is. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a quick stir real fast before I pour it into another cup for some steamed milk. Super good. This one I'm experimenting with. It looks darker, but it's actually a 26 on the roast vision. So it's actually a lighter roast, but I just was able to roast it really well developed on the fluid bit roaster. So it's kind of the best of both worlds where you get nice developed, a lot of flavors, um, getting a lot of peach, a lot of uh, really good stone fruits, and also a lot of blueberries and some understated kind of caramel notes as well too. So um, that's what I love about the fluid bit roaster. You are able to get the, the best of both worlds where it's still light roast, but also really well developed as well too. So I'm gonna go ahead and steam some milk here real fast. What I'm gonna do is I just go till it's about the same temperature as my hand. And then I just slightly lift it up like over there. I know a lot of people have a lot of fancy ways of doing this, but Seems to work pretty well for me. Then as soon as it gets a little, a little hot to hold, I just go and turn it off. It normally gives me pretty good, nice paint-like consistency of foam. So I'm just gonna go ahead and purge steam on real fast here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and drop this in here. I did it into the espresso cup first for you guys so you can see the shot easier. Otherwise that cup takes up a lot of the real estate when it comes to being able to see what's going on. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do some simple art here, nothing crazy. All right, well, there you have it. So we have some freshly roasted coffee from Columbia, double fermented, amazing. Um, and then we also have, uh, the L24 smoke grades. So hopefully you enjoy the video. 
and hope all is well. Cheers.